Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, two commands which you should run regularly to keep your PC in tip top condition. Now, if your PC is slightly misbehaving, run this, it should make it better. And if you want to do it as a preventative measure, so it keeps your PC running nicely in the background, I would suggest doing this maybe weekly, maybe fortnightly, possibly monthly, but do it on a regular basis to keep your PC in tip top condition. So without further ado, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are on our Windows 11 desktop and we've got two commands to run. And I've actually put them into a document here on the desktop so I can copy and paste. The details for this will also be in the video description. So if you wanna save yourself a bunch of time, you don't wanna watch the whole video, just feel free to go to the video description and check out the information there. That'll be much quicker for you, but if you wanna see how it's done, stick around and we'll go for a little bit of a journey. So the two commands we've got here, the DISM, Online Cleanup Image Restore Health. So basically what this is gonna do is to make sure that we've got the very latest version of our Windows image actually on the system. And then secondly, we're gonna run the scan file checker or system file checker, sorry, scan now. And that is gonna basically compare all of our system files against the ones which are from a known good image, ideally this one. So these two work hand in hand. You can run either of them on their own but on their own, they don't really do a great deal of good. If you just run system file checker, scan now, if your restore image is actually corrupted or in bad health, then you're just restoring bad files onto an already bad system potentially. So that's a really bad thing to do. So you wanna run these two together consecutively. So let's go ahead and do that now. In order to do that, we want to run from a command prompt. So type in command and right click on it and choose run as administrator. And then you'll get this box here. So let's move this around a little bit so we can copy and paste things across a little bit easier. So we've got our prompt there. So the first one we wanna do is the DISM, Restore Health. And we'll copy that one and just right click or use Control V to paste it in there and press Enter. What this is gonna do is gonna go online and it's actually gonna get the latest version of the image for your Windows installation. This can take a little while. Generally, it's gonna hang up around about 62.3% or thereabouts, and it'll stay there for ages. It'll look like it's crashed, but it'll just do its thing in the background, downloading the latest image file. If for some reason, whilst you're running this, you get an error message, or at the very end, you get an error message, do make sure that you're not leaving some Windows updates undone. So go to Windows Update, make sure those are done, potentially to restart your computer. That should fix pretty much all of those error messages that you might get whilst trying to use the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool, or DISM for short. So be patient, let it do its thing, and we'll come back when it's finished. And in our particular instance, because we've done this quite recently, it's already done it, restored, and yep, yeah, it's all good. So it's completed successfully. So the next part of the equation is this one here. So we're gonna highlight that, right click, choose copy. Obviously you want to type it in, you can do. So SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. And again, it's gonna say beginning system scan. This process will take some time. So it's gonna start the verification phase of the system scan. Ideally, just leave your system alone, let it go and do its thing. Potentially for some of you, if you're a little bit more of an advanced user, you could potentially set up both of these tasks to run as a scheduled task using the Windows Task Scheduler. Uh, if you wanna see me do a video on how to set that up, let me know in the comment section and we'll try and do that. But for now, we're gonna let it go and do its thing and we'll come back when it's completed. And we're very lucky that it didn't take very long at all on this particular instance. It says here, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, which essentially means that our system image file is clean and also all of our Windows system files are completely clean. So that is excellent. If there are any problems that are found, you will see that there will be a message saying that there were some violations and there will be a log file and it will give you the location for the log file. Normally it's in the Windows CSM logs, stroke logs. Um, you'll see it on the screen anyway if you get that error message. But essentially, that is it. So you can just type in exit to close that. You can save this file onto your desktop or somewhere handy. So if you want to use it for reference, you're more than welcome to do so or just bookmark the video for future reference. So there you go, a very simple thing to do, and I would suggest doing it quite regularly, maybe not once a week, but potentially maybe once a month or just periodically. 
if you feel your system is just behaving a little bit strangely and not doing things exactly as it should do, maybe you're finding your system's not shutting down very quickly or startup is being very protracted and taking ages for maybe your Discord or your MSI Center or whatever for those to load up, then potentially it could be down to your Windows system files, in which case those two commands should fix those problems. But if for some reason it doesn't, feel free to let us know in the Discord or alternatively in the comments section below. We'd be very glad to hear from you. I think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.